Hi, everybody. Good evening. Uh, it is evening because there's no sun coming through my blinds back there. And this is Conversations with Calvin, We the Species. And what a special, interesting, fascinating little conversation we're going to have with Portia Q. Uh, and, and Portia Q, uh, and I'm going to let her tell a little bit of the story before we jump into the conversation. But we met. Where of all places does Calvin meet people we met on LinkedIn? And and the thing that stand that stood out so much was the fact that she did voiceover and narration and and, and I know nothing right now, nothing about the world of voiceover. So what a, a propitious opportunity. I looked that word up before we went on air. What a propitious opportunity to learn more about that. So Portia, uh, Portia Q, please, a little bio, and then we'll kind of jump into a little conversation. All right. Well, first, I want to say thank you, Calvin, for inviting me on with Conversations with Calvin, We the Species. Uh, I started out as a little girl in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, oh, kidding. Um, uh, I got my master's in theater arts and uh, did a film right after I graduated and pursued acting all this time. And uh, then I discovered voiceover. Um, which is a good segue question. So what actually motivated you to, to uh, get into the voiceover industry? I mean, how? As, as an actor, uh, you know, we we kind of navigate to voiceover because it's acting, but with the voice. Uh, but 20 years ago, it was a very closed industry. There was really like a very few voice artists that just had the chunk of all the work. Wow. Uh, so I, an old mate motivated me and he said, you should do voiceover. I said, no, you can't do voiceover. You can't get in there. No, you can't get in there. But then I found out we're in a digital age now and voiceover is available to those who want to do it. Why do you particularly enjoy um, providing voiceover service? You know, it, and I think about this often, it's because I am actually using my personality, my vocal folds, my breath to, um, uh, while being creatively free, to use my voice as a service and a product. So that's what's so magical about it, kind of. The personality that is not seen. So it's a beautiful thing. And it's really a great honor for me to be able to, to, to be a voice artist. I'm guessing there's a big ton of voiceover performers out there. What makes your voice stand out? And you know, that's the thing. When you're a voice artist, you have to make sure you find out what's special about your voice because there's so many of us out there and it's a really great community. Yet I really hesitate to tell you what's unique about my voice because I say that's someone else's job, right? But what I do realize is that uh, my voice crosses demographics. So if I can be very urban, uh, they, and we, we kind of, I can do urban, I can do suburban, I can do a baby, animation, and authentically so. Uh, so I feel lucky that my, I am able to do, to really cross demographics. That's very important when you're selling products. This, what we're doing now becomes kind of a tutorial for the for the legions of young students out there who we reach uh so this becomes a whole like a career uh, exploration uh, of, of the world of voiceover for people who've never even and i hope to reach that that kind of audience um but what are some of the challenges um that that you face uh doing voiceover the biggest challenge is making sure that my admin department, my um, IT department, and my talent all have their eyes and ears open for the latest trends and technologies. And all those departments are run by one person, and that's me for now. 
So that's the biggest challenge, but it's a fun challenge and a welcome challenge. Intense, it's so intense. Um, I think uh, I wanna go off topic for a second and, and have a little fun. Uh, my I, hot tea ready for it. Ready. Get your hot tea ready for it. Um, I actually have my hot coffee here. Um, so uh, off topic, uh, during this pandemic, uh, excluding family or friends, uh, anyone living or dead that you'd like to spend a day with? Ooh. Yeah. Excluding? Excluding uh, family or friends. Okay, anyone. It could be living or dead, just somebody, um, it could be one or two people, there's no rules here, that you'd like to spend a day with. Uh, I'm going to go with Queen Hatshepsut of ancient Egypt. Okay. Uh, I, I think that's a great answer. It's a great answer. And, and actually, ancient Egypt always fascinated me. Um, always beyond, you know, the, the movies I used to watch about uh, ancient Egypt. Okay, so back... i hieroglyph on the back of my neck, the Eye of Horus. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. It was supposed to be an elephant, but I changed my mind. So. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so back to work. When when you are um, recording a, a voiceover, how how do you actually know you're you're saying it right? How do you how do you actually know you're hitting you know the right notes? What tells you? Right. That's a great question. You don't know, actually. We are self-directed. And a lot of actors, if there's any actors out there, when you're self-tape, you don't have anyone directing you most of the time. Uh, but there is an alternative. Uh, you can, for my, I offer my clients Skype or Zoom or what also something known as Source Connect so that you can actually direct me and whomever your voice talent is remotely. So it's a great way to, to do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to say to folks watching, uh, uh, every couple of minutes, there's going to be all your contact information uh, so people can find you on your website, Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so Thank you're going to be easily, uh, um, you're going to be easily tracked down. Re re reach reachable. Please. Yeah, reachable. Yep, yep, yep. Do you, um, do you have kind of a, a specialty in, in the voiceover work you do? You know, I, I do not have a specialty yet. I am still uh, learning and growing. Well, well, what actually I do, I have, I, I will tell the truth now. Now, I, my specialty is e-learning, e-learning, oh, because wow. I, I am a natural teacher. I am a natural teacher. So to combine voiceover with teaching is a heaven for me. Uh, but I, yeah, so, but I do a lot of IVR and phone messaging, and for interested voiceover people, there are some voice artists who make a living just doing a lot of phone messaging for companies. Wow. So interesting. You know, I always think of, you know, the same voice you hear on, on um, you know, like your, your message on the phone, that voice. Um, I always wondered, is that a real voice? Uh, that's really somebody who did that. Sometimes they're, they're, the, the new AI is getting so good. A lot of voice actors are like, ah! you know, because it's getting so good. That, but we still say that not, they haven't been able to perfect the human nuance of the, of the human, yeah, the nuances of the human voice. Okay. By the way, I should also mention that uh, you're coming live uh, to this conversation with Calvin from Atlanta, Georgia. That's right, live from Atlanta. Georgia. Live from Atlanta, Georgia. I, that's very important. Yes. yes. You know, it's I, not I, around the corner here. Uh, I, I think it's great. Um, so I, I can see, and I know you, you work out of a, a home office studio. Do you prefer being at home or being like on location? Um, you know what? Uh, wow. When you go into a professional audio studio, it is like heavenly because you just walk in there and the audio is set, the microphone's position, everything's perfect. Uh, but when you're at home, you have you are responsible for creating quality audio that is uh, very important in uh, voiceover. But when you have your own studio at home, it is wonderful because you're controlling your time and, and okay. so Okay, okay. Is there, um, 
Portia, is there a particular like genre that you, you, you like? I mean, there's so many genres. Is there a particular genre that you like to do over uh, other different types? Uh, you know, I would like to, and I do animation. I have done quite a bit of animation, some video games uh, that wow. as well. I've played some Alien so far. It's not wow. fun. Um, but animation for, for cartoons, okay. or, I'd love okay. to expand more there. Okay. Uh, my son's a big video game guy, so um, anyway. I, I Ask it, him if he knows EgoSoft. I don't know. I, wonder I, I will. I absolutely will ask him that sooner than later. Um, um, another uh, kind of a fun uh, off-topic question. Um, I, I always sometimes like to play the cerebral. Um, so uh, this is a fill-in-the-blank, uh, Portia. I'm uh, so nervous, yes. Don't be nervous. Okay. No, no. So <laughs> fill-in-the-blank, uh, before I leave this earth, I won't be happy until I blank. Whoa. Uh, that's, a, that's a little heavy. Um, but right. Before I leave this earth, I won't be happy until I know I've helped as many people as possible have a more quality life than they great. would have had had they not met me. That's great. That's, that's great. Um kind of winding down, uh, I think this is important because, you know, uh, hopefully we've got that young audience out there. Do you have any particular uh, advice you want to give to, to those considering voiceover business? Well, and you said young. I mean, that's why I love voiceover. I will be, I'm going to live to be about 101. I'm going to be a bodybuilder up until my 90s. Thank you. I'm already admiring my own, my 90-year-old self. Uh, but voiceover can be done forever if you know if you keep your vocal folds healthy i watched your interview with a vocologist very nice um uh but the, i would say learn to be an entrepreneur entrepreneur watch uh watch people get online mentors like mark scott uh and ganguza watch voiceover body shop if you're really interested in voiceover voiceover body shop on facebook is amazing attend voiceover uh seminars like uh that's voiceover uh, which I just attended last weekend, mm -hmm. or, or VO Atlanta, uh, you know, just this is great. and have a thirst for knowledge. This is great, and what a way to kind of to kind of wrap this this time that we spent together. You know, the advice you just gave. Um, I can't thank you enough for this. You know, the time that we spent, and and uh, we'll talk about it more when we go off air. But there's going to be so many more opportunities. Uh, a, um, we'll figure it out for you to come back because I think you have so much to, to give back uh, to younger generations. Um, but you've been so gracious and thank you for letting me into your studio. So I, I got a microphone like you got, um, gift of my oh. son. Uh, but anyway, um, I do thank you so much. Thank you, Calvin. And, and to be continued and uh, you just be well, Portia. Thank you so I much. And I want to thank you for Vichy, Vichy Water. I, I, I appreciate it. that. Thank I you. appreciate the plug. I really do. Uh, I don't really push that book a lot, but. I'm excited. It's what got me here. So thank you, Portia, to be continued.